mother to mother.com. Let's take a look at the highs that Sina made going back to the highs here of about late February, early March 2018. Now, the first thing we can see here is there was a breakout attempt. Oh, I should have mentioned this is a two year weekly chart. And there was a breakout attempt here on the weekly that failed. In fact, if you take a look at this from week to week, there was a failed breakout here. Another failed breakout on this week. A failed breakout here. Another failed breakout. And then a failed breakout that reverses lower for that week. So we're talking about this movement here. Failed breakout and then you drift lower. So that was a warning sign. The fact that the stock was unable to break out successfully. But also more importantly is while it was trying to break new highs, it, trying to improve in terms of weekly closing highs, take a look at your RSI. Number one, the RSI was making a lower high. So that was negative divergence. And more importantly, there was failure to move above RSI 61.8 even as the stock was trying to record new weekly closing highs. So this failure to move above 61.8 happens to be the worst type of negative divergence or the strongest type of negative divergence, which explains why after failing to move above 61.8, after a period of failed weekly breakouts, Eventually, we see this drop in the stock. In fact, if you take a look also at the same time period, so we're talking about early 2018, around the 124, 125, 125, 123 price level. Here, you'll notice that if you go to the monthly chart, there was also RSI 69.1 uniform activity rejection. So that RSI 69.1 uniform activity rejection coincided with the 61.8 weekly rejection on the RSI. So this is on the monthly. And of course, based on those two resistances, 61.8 on the weekly, 69.1 on the monthly, you can see as a consequence of that, we have this drop lower. In fact, even here on the monthly, we can actually see that there was a breakout attempt that eventually fails. So you close above the previous monthly closing high, and then you stay higher. Finally, you drop below that level. In other words, this becomes a failed breakout. And because of all those negative things, ultimately the stock has already drifted from the 120s to the current lows here in the lower 80s. Eric Mwadith, mother com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-R-C-S.